Hi everyone, welcome to my class, the Olusta class, where we teach mathematics and statistics. In today's class, we want to find the value of x from this equation. We have root of 11 minus x minus square root of x plus 6 is equal to 3. That is, square root of 11 minus x minus square root of x plus 6 is equal to 3. So we want to find the value of x. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. Then the question says, square root of 11 minus x minus square root of x plus 6 is equal to 3. This implies that we have root of 11 minus x is equal to what? 3. If this cross the other side, you come plus root of x plus 6 then what do we do next we square both sides squaring both sides then squaring both sides this imply that we have root of 11 minus x all square if you to 3 plus root of x plus 6 all square then this square will cancel this. Now let's consider this right hand side. Then our right hand side can be we have 3 plus square root of s plus 6 into 3 plus square root of s plus 6. Then that is the square. We want to multiply 3 times 3 is equal to what? 9. Then 3 plus 3 times square root of s plus 6. Well, plus 3 root x plus 6. Then this root x plus 6 times 3 again. Plus 3 root x plus 6 plus root x plus 6 times root x plus 6, we have x plus 6. I hope you understand. We have 3 times 3. We give you this 9. Then 3 times root x plus 6 will be 3 root x plus 6. Then plus another. This root x plus 6 times 3. We give you 3 root x plus 6. Then root s plus 6 times root s plus 6 will give you s plus 6 because the square root will cancel. So let's proceed. We have 9 plus this is we give you 15. 15 plus this 3 root s plus 6 plus 3 root s plus 6 will be equal to what? 6 root x plus 6 plus this x that's our our right hand side so let's combine the two equation we have recall from here this we have 11 minus x this imply that we have 11 minus x will be equal to 15 plus 6 root s plus 6 plus x now what do we do next we have 11 if this 15 cross the other side because minus 15 will be equal to what this s s plus 6 root s plus 6 plus x this imply that we have 11 minus 15 will be what? Minus 4 will be equal to s plus s is 2s plus 2s plus 6, 2s plus 6 root 
plus six. For example, we have 11 minus 15. It will give you minus 4. If you be equal to this x here, s yes, s plus s is 2s, then plus 6 root s plus 6. And let's divide all through by 2. Let's divide all through by 2. This is over 2. Then this over 2. Over 2. We want to divide all through by 2. We have this one, we cancel this 2. Then this 2, we cancel this 2. 2 here, 1. 2 here, 3. So we are left with minus 2 is equal to what? x plus 3 root s plus 6. Now, this can be right as minus 2 minus x is equal to what? 3 root s plus 6. Then let's square in both sides again. We have squaring both sides. We have minus two minus s square. If you got what three root s plus six all square then let's see what will happen here is minus 2 minus x into minus 2 minus x will be equal to this square 3 square will be 9 into s plus 6 so because the square will cancel this then 3 square will be what 9 this implies that we have Minus 2 times minus 2, it will be what? 4 minus 2 times s will be plus 2s. Minus s times minus 2 will be plus 2s. Minus s times minus s plus s square equal to 9 into s plus 6. Then we have 4 plus 4s, that is 2s plus 2s, will be 4s plus s square. We have got to 9 times s, 9x plus 54. 9 times 6 is 54. Then this can be right as we have. s square plus 4x if this plus 9 cross the other side will be minus 9x then if we go to what 54 if this 4 cross the other side we got minus 4 this can be right as s square minus 5 is equal to what? 50. Because 54 minus 4 is 50. And this is quadratic equation now. We have s square minus 5s minus 50 equal to 0. That is quadratic equation. We need to work on this in order to get the value of our x. So let's factor this. That is, we have this can be right as s square minus 10s plus 5x minus 50 equal to 0. That is, 10 times 5 is 50. Minus 10 times 5 is minus 50. Minus 10 plus 5 will give you what? Minus 5. So I hope you get this line. Then this can be right as this imply that we have s into s minus 10 plus 5 into s minus 10 equal to 0. s into s minus 10 plus 5, this 5 into x minus 10 is equal to 0.
therefore we have this is x then and this is 5 we have x minus 10 here and s minus 10 here so this implies that we have s plus 5 equal to 0 or s minus 10 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to what minus 5 or from here s is equal to what 10 and with this s is equal to minus 5 satisfy the given equation then s is equal to 10 does not satisfy the given equation how oh, let's check check so let's check we know that from the question is root 11 minus x minus root what s plus 6 is equal to what 3 and at s is equal to minus 5 let's see to know whether s minus 5 satisfies the given equation at s is equal to minus 5 we have this is root of 11 s minus into minus 5 minus root of s is minus 5 minus 5 plus 6 then what do we have next this is 11 minus into minus 5 will be plus 5 that is 11 plus 5 will be 6 16 that is root of 16 minus square root of 1 so that is minus 5 plus 6 is 1 square root of 1 is 1 and root of 16 is 4 which is called what 4 minus 1 which is called to 3 you can see that s s is equal to minus 5 satisfy our given equation thank you please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe go to 10 we have a s if you put 10 here 11 minus 10 this one will be what one then here is minus if you have this 11 if if 10 s is 10 here if s is 10 here we have 10 plus 6 that will be 16 and it's going to be minus 4 that is here is going to be minus four so that is for answer is, if you put 10 at s is equal to 10 it, our value is going to be minus 3 so you can see that s is equal to 10 does not satisfy the given equation but at s is equal to 5 so it satisfies the given equation though our answer is equal to what s is equal to minus 5 thank you please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe please subscribe thank you so much don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, share the video and subscribe, please subscribe.